Hello everyone. Uh, what we're going to do in this video is create this form here. And what this form does is just allow you to select something, an animal, whether a dog. If you select dog, it has names for the dog, George and Mary. But if you select cat, it has different names, Henry and Jane. So what's going on is this combo box of names is dependent on what you select of this dog combo box. And then what this does is when you hit go, it just puts the animal and the name in the cell on the worksheet. So it's an introduction to forms, it's an introduction to how to write code for the forms and exactly where to write the code. So let's first uh, go into the Visual Basic environment and click on the the projects, the project explorer. And you can see I have this form forms here, form main. So how do you get that? You go to insert and go to user form. So this will put a form, a blank form in into the window, into your environment. So now you'll have a blank form. And what you need to do is you need to add things to the form, add controls. So you want to click this hammer here. It's a toolbox. And you want to add things. So here's a combo box. And here's a label. I mean, you could add anything you want. I'm just showing you what I was doing. So I added a label. I put animal in here. You change the text. You put animal, whatever you want. I'm going to delete this, though, because I already did that. So I put a label here. I put a combo box here. Okay. Now what I did was I needed to know the name of this combo box and the name of this combo box. So you want to click on the properties window and what you'll see is that when you click on combo box combo boxes or anything here the properties window changes to whatever you select so I selected a combo box and the name is combo animal now I named it that combo animal initially it's gonna be called like combo box one or combo box two and that's what you want to do you want to make sure your naming conventions are pretty intuitive like if it's a combo box, start it with combo box and put animal afterwards so you can know what it is. Here, combo name. You see that? I create another combo box and name it combo, combo name. Okay. I also want to change the title of the form. So I just select the form. And you'll see now this is a user form here. And it, in the properties window, I change the name of the form. You could change the background color, fonts of everything, all down in the properties window. I also put a button on the form, and I did that by going again to the toolbox. And here's the button. So I dragged the button over here. I put a button on there, um, and I changed, I changed the uh, caption of the button. So if I select this, here's the caption right there. And I also changed the name to BTN main. So it's button main. Okay. So now I want to populate the combo boxes. And to do that, you, you remember, here's your form. You insert the form. To do that, you want to double click on the form. And when you do that, um, you're going to be behind the form. Now, now you're writing code behind the form. And what I initially did was go over here. And it'll say user form, and you want to select initialize. Uh, I pressed key down just so you can see that it creates a, a sub for you. So when I when I put initialize here, it created a sub, and in the sub I wrote the name of the form. So my my form, remember, go back to this. My form is named form main. I'll double click on the form again. I went to initialize, created a, a sub for initialization, and then I write the name of the form, form main dot combo animal, and you can see it's really easy. It, it does it basically does it for you. You uh, just keep writing the name of the combo box, and then um, what you want to do is add item. Okay, and if I wanted to add another thing like bird, I would do bird. So what this does is adds the text for the combo box. On initialization means when the form is first pulled up to the screen, what, what is it going to show and what's going to be in the combo box? So it's going to have dog and cat. I added those items. 
And then what is the default going to be? The default is going to be cat. And you do that right here. You Instead of add item, you make the text of the combo box cat. So now you'll have a combo box that pops up with dog and cat, and cat will be showing. Okay, now what you want to do is handle the change of the combo box. So let's go back to the form real quick. And if I want to write some code that depends on the change of the combo box, you double click the combo box and automatically you get this change sub. So you could write stuff in here, but this is for the combo box name. I want it to worry about the combo box animal. So I already wrote that up here. So combo box animal dot change and the name remember I named this combo underscore animal. It automatically puts the underscore change. So I named it combo animal. And what you do is you select you do a case statement. You select the combo animal text and what this case means is if it's dog, if the text is dog if it's changed to dog, then with the other combo box, combo box name, you want to clear its contents and you want to add these two items, Mary and George. You clear the contents because if the previous selection was cat, then you would have Henry and Jane in, in this combo name, combo box, but you don't want that. So you clear it out and you put new stuff, George and Mary in. And the list index is telling you which one do you want to show on default. If you put zero, it'll show George. If you put one, it'll show Mary. Okay. Now we do the same thing for combo name for a case when it's cat. So if it's cat, you want combo name to clear and you want to add Henry and Jane. And you make sure you use these with statements. So you got to put with combo name and then end the with. And also remember you started it with a select statement. Select case combo animal dot text you have to end the select statement okay so now we handle the change of the combo box and we want to put some code behind for the for the button click so if you go to the form and you were to double if you were to double this button it would have created a blank sub without this call place text it would have created a blank sub but I put, so I did that, I double clicked it, it created a blank sub, and then I put call place text. And what this call does, it's gonna call a subroutine. And the name of my subroutine is place text. And here it is, place text. So it calls this, and what this does is, I guess I don't even need this. What this place text does is in cell 1 1, so A1, it'll put the text of the combo animal box and in cell 1 2 it'll put the text of the combo name so that's all the code you have here so we initialize the form we handle the change event here and then we call place text which will put it on the worksheet now we're missing one thing the one thing we're missing is how do we get the form initially to pop up well, I did that by creating a macro. Just create a macro on the macro recorder and all you need is one line of code which is right here. The name of your form and dot show. Okay. So when you press control R because I put a, a shortcut key it'll show this form and all the code here we go. All the code I press control R this pops up and all that code that you just saw is now in this form. So if I press cat, uh, dog, you see that George pops up and it's only George and Mary. Now if I go back to cat, you'll see Henry pops up and it's only Henry and Jane. And then if you press go, it'll put whatever you select up here, dog and George. Um, so if you wanted to change like, if you wanted to change something with that, Remember, you double-click form, and say I wanted to change, instead of George being the default, I want Mary to be the default for dog. So I just change this list index to 1. Now when I run it, when I pull up dog, it should be Mary. And it's right there. That's Mary. Okay, so that's pretty much how to use a form, how to create a form. Let's go back to it real quick. You go to Insert, User Form, 
this will be blank then you want to select the toolbox and you put anything you want on here radio button option button uh, labels text box combo box so I use combo box labels and a button here if you need help on this just Google um, VBA user form I'm, I'm sure you'll find a lot of stuff about all this uh, but then click on the form and you could write your code you need to double click and have an initialization so you can have some stuff first appear and then you could double click on the combo boxes to handle the changes uh, so that's pretty much that um, if you have any questions please let me know and please comment